da 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 news flash i feel like i'm sitting at a news desk i know i'm a big dork but i isn't that why people like me maybe they talk behind my back. I don't care. Um, <laughs> hey, everybody. It's Adam Ratliff with Adam So Fun. Welcome back to the channel. Um, it's a little bit weird. I'm not long arming right now, and I'm not piecing right now. Um, today, I'm going to be working on the computer, and I've seen a lot of stuff about Pro Stitcher Designer and Pro Stitcher Catalog and the new Pro Stitcher Studio and this and that um, on Facebook and Instagram. People are just confused. They don't really know what the things are. They don't know what they do. So I thought I would um, do a really quick video of some of the features that I really like. Um, if you've had your machine for more than a year, probably since if you got it before 2000, uh, 2020, the year of 2020, um, <laughs> I told you I'm dumb. Um, then you, you're, if, if you bought a Pro Stitcher, you probably got Art and Stitch with it. In 2020, um, Handy Quilter or Pro Stitcher came out with their own version of a digitizing software called Pro Stitcher Designer. And um, what I like about it is one, I think it's more user friendly. Um, it's set up to look and kind of feel like you're using your Pro Stitcher Premium. So one of the one of the things I really like about it. Um, second one, it's integrated with Pro Stitcher, so you can send, just like you could with Art and Stitch, you can send designs back and forth right in your tablet. If you activate it, you do get two activations. So if you activate it on your tablet, you can find a design, send it into Designer and edit it if you need to, and then bring it back, or um, yeah, send it into Designer, edit it, send it back to Pro Stitcher and use it, which is super awesome. Well, they came out with Catalog not too long ago, or Pro Stitcher Catalog, and that is like a game changer because if you're like me, you got your pro stitcher and then you decided like, Oh, I need to be in every, um, I need to be part of every design club out there so I can build my design library because our pro stitchers, the more designs we have, the more things we can do. We love it. But, um, you know what we don't love going through all those files, trying to find, Ooh, I, I know there's a paw like a dog paw somewhere in those files and then going through every month and file and go you know everything on your computer or even on your post stitcher tablet it takes a long time so what catalog did it gives you an the ability to type in a a word and search it and find it so if you need a star you can just type in star and it's going to bring all the designs that have star in the name up um, and then from there you can make keywords and you can put um, notes in it and it's the possibilities are there what is also awesome is that you can um, if it's activated on your tablet you can search by using the catalog on your tablet and then send that design right into pro stitcher so i know there's other programs out there that um that kind of do the same thing catalog does but what they don't do like they um they're not integrated into the pro stitcher so you still have to go and find it on your um, computer and then put it on a thumb drive and this and that this you could do all right in your tablet so i'm going to show you a few things also you can search um your embroidery designs with this which is awesome because you know again what file is that design in who knows so i'm going to bring you around i'm going to work off the computer today and um just kind of chat with you as always please like and subscribe to the channel um make if you hit the bell icon you'll be notified when the new videos drop um what else Oh, follow me on social media, Adam So Fun, and that's S E W on Facebook and Instagram. And uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you don't like the video, please don't give me a thumbs down. It's 2020. Let's end it big and happy, and no thumbs down for anybody. How about that? <laughs> I told you. Um, there was another thing I was going to say. Oh, and I'm going to try to get this video out. Today is the 30th. I'm going to try to get the video out later today because um, this week, starting yesterday, um, Pro Stitcher Designer is on sale for $100 off. And if you contact your retailer, um, you can ask them for their discount code and you can get um, catalog. I can't remember. I think it's 10, maybe $20 off. So I can't remember how much it is. It's one of the two. But I talked so much, I had to get some water really quick. So I'm going to jump in and we're going to get in here on the computer. All right. So here's the new um, ProStitcher.com. You can see up at the top, it's called ProStitcher Studio now because it doesn't only include um, 
education for Pro Stitcher anymore. It's Pro Stitcher, Pro Stitcher Designer, and Pro Stitcher Catalog. So if I come over to my Pro Stitcher drop down menu, there's a bunch of videos for education. This is where you would get your updates and such. Um, same thing with des Designer. You can get your manual, you can watch some videos, and now Catalog has been added to that. So this is the whole Pro Stitcher studio. And again, it's just at ProStitcher.com. Um, I can, uh, or if I go to designer and I come down to purchase, you can see that it's on sale for this week. Um, again, it's a week from the 29th, I believe. I'm not sure when the sale ends. You'll have to check out the Handy Quilter Facebook page for that. Um, and then here's the catalog. And also remember to contact your retailer, ask them if you can get the discount code that they have, and then, um, save some money because we all like to save money. But here's the Pro Stitcher Studio, um or ProStitcher.com. All right, everyone, this is the new Pro Stitcher Studio. Um, I just opened it, so there's not anything in our workspace. Usually this area is gonna be white, but because we don't have any files open, it is gray. If I wanted to come in and create, um, I don't know, a square design or something, I can hit new and come to my tools and pop in my maybe diamond -y square thing. I don't know what I was doing. Um, now this is just kind of an overview of um, a quick features of what it does. I mean to this is a full day class to learn this program but I can make a design come to preview turn it to stitches or I have to select it then turn it to stitches. I can see the stitch out so this shows me exactly how it's going to stitch out in Pro Stitcher and if you have designer you can come to your home screen and there's this little um, app or this little button here that looks like it is a sewing machine. I can hit send and this will send it straight over to my Pro Stitcher. So I'm running Pro Stitcher Simulator. Here's that design. I just sent it straight over from Designer. So it's super cool because you can send things back and forth. One of the big reasons I love Pro Stitcher Designer and I love the Pro Stitcher Catalog is because they're all fully integrated. I mean, they're all developed by one um, one company that so they're supposed to work together. They're all friendly. So, you know, how do you how do you pick what you want to purchase? There's a lot of different or there's other applications out there that do the same thing. Here's one of the reasons I like this one. I can send them back and forth. Now, if you don't have a Pro Stitcher, I'm going to clear this because we don't need this. Um, and let me um, let me show you one other thing because it works by sending things from Designer to Pro Stitcher. But I can also open. Let's open this cottage. I can also send something from Pro Stitcher to Designer. So say I wanted this design, but maybe I didn't want these windows. I can come in, go to my Tools tab, and as, as long as you have Designer. Uh, um, activated on your Pro Stitcher tablet, and you do, do you do get two applications, so you can uh, or activations, so you can have one on a laptop and one on the tablet. I can hit this designer button, and it shot it straight over to designer. So now I can come in, I can edit this design however I want. I would save it as a different file name, and then um, it would be good to go. I'm going to close this because I don't want to accidentally um, write over it. We can just delete this one now. Um, oh, you know what? Let's undo that delete because I want to show you one other thing. You don't have to be a handy quilter um, person to use this program. Designer will write in any of the file formats for all of the long arm companies. So you can use any different long arm company out there and you can still use designer to digitize those designs and then bring them over here. So um, although it is a Pro Stitcher product, it doesn't mean that you have to have a Pro Stitcher. I can write in Bernina format, I can write in Sattler, all of them. So I'm gonna delete this. And let's talk a little bit about Catalog, and this is what I really love. So when um, Catalog came out, it changed from Pro Stitcher to um, Pro Stitcher Studio, because this can run two different applications at once. It can run the designer, and it can run Catalog. So we got this new button called Find. So I'm gonna click on Find. We can search keywords, we can search notes, we can search by name. So um, I've been doing a lot of stuff with Quiltable and they have been loading in their designs by keywords. So if I type in clamshell and I hit find, it's gonna search my files and it's gonna bring up over here in the bottom right in my sidebar. I'm gonna move these things around a little bit. 
it's going to bring up all the clamshell designs, but only if they have a key word in them that says clamshell. So this brought up 20 designs. And if I scroll this down, or if I pick one, so I'm going to double click on one of these, and I can see that this file is called Clamorama V204 Peacock. And then it also has keywords edge to edge, edge, clam, and clamshell. So that's why it found it. Um, if I didn't double click, I'm going to click back on my design tab. I can drag and drop this. So this is creating a new file if I drag and drop. If I double click it, it opens the current file. So you can see that I have all this info about this design here. But if I drag and drop it, I don't have any info because I'm starting from scratch and I'm making something new from something that already exists. I'm going to delete this and I'm going to close the other file so I don't accidentally re um, save over it. And I'm going to click find. So when I did clamshell um, up in my keywords, I got 20. Let's see if I just put it in the name how many I get. So 17, because all of those clam, um, the clamshell designs, the clamorama, they were clamorama this and that. So these are actually called clamshells. So a totally different set of designs that have clamshell somewhere in the name. Um, I'm going to look up some, let's look up star. So these are all the designs that I have that have the word star in them. There's 212 designs. Now, could you imagine going through every file that you have and trying to find these specific designs? This will bring all those stars up. And what I like is it, it also brings up designs I made. So I made this design for um, my friend Beth. I was creating her quilt. And, and this was one of the designs I used to uh, Pro Stitcher to stitch out. No, I didn't. I dragged and dropped it, so I don't have any info. But what is great about these keywords, if I double click this and open it, I put keyword in and I put Beth because this was something I used on Beth's quilt. So if I ever needed to be like, oh, what design did I use or can I find it? I can do my find tool. And if I put in star, I got 212. But if I take out star in the name and just type in Beth uh -oh, in my keyword, I get one total um, one design and it's my Beth floating star. And the last thing, oh, and again, if I wanted to use this, I can click send. It's going to send it straight over to my pro stitcher for me. And there's my star and there's the house we still had open. Um, I'm going to clear all of this and let's go back to designer. Um, now, you can run designer by itself. You can run catalog by itself. But if you do not have designer, you can't send designs back and forth between the two, um, two applications. You can still find it. You can still search things. You can do all that and find those designs that you're needing. Maybe we need a bunny. Do I have anything with bunnies? I do. I didn't even know I did. Oh, yeah, I did. I knew I had these two because they're in Pro Stitcher. I didn't know I had this one. Um, but if you're like me, I mean, you have all of those monthly um, design uh, uh, clubs that you're getting all those designs. We don't always pay attention to those when we get them. We look at them really quick and then they get filed. So um, the one last thing that is great about catalog is that it will also search for, um, for embroidery files. So if I come in here and I type Twilight, I'm a Kimberbell fan. Over here in my um, in my designs, I have all the designs from the Twilight Boulevard bench pillow because those are saved in the same place. So you can still find um, you can also find embroidery files that most of the other programs can't. So it's just one more thing that you can search. And if I type in pig, I have these embroidery files that I did large scale embroideries for. Now um, I will link a link down to uh, Megan Bess. She kind of started the kind of the big large scale embroidery trend. So this was uh, the pig and or this was a pig that was supposed to be um, digitized or it was digitized a quilt on one of our small, you know, embroidery machines and I blew it up. It quilted by like, I'll show a picture of it um, after I kind of run through this application. Um, but I 
did a large scale embroidery. Um, Megan has a wonderful tutorial. Like I said, I'll um, link it down in the description. Check it out if you're interested. She step by step will take you through it. And she's been doing some amazing stuff with um, embroidery on the long arm. Um, I've just did this pig and it's not even done. But I will show you what I did. It's super cute. I do love him. But um, that's just a little bit about Pro Stitcher and Pro Stitcher Designer and some of the things I like about it and why I think it's totally worth it. But, um, you know, it's, at the end of the day, it's up to you. It is on sale. Pro Stitcher Designer is on sale this week if you don't have it. And Catalog, if you contact your retailer and ask them for your discount code, you can get that discount. Again, not sure if it's 10 or $20, but it's something. So um, I'll see you back here in a second. All right, so that was just a quick overview of what Pro Stitcher Designer and Pro Stitcher Catalog can do. Um, you remember, you don't have to have both of them. You can use just Designer, you can use just Catalog, or you can get them both. Um, remember to co contact a retailer if you're gonna get, uh, if you decide to get Catalog, so you can save a little bit of money. And Designer is on sale for the next week, starting yesterday. I think I don't know the day it ends, but you can check that out. Handy Quilter uh, Facebook page. I have some more details on it. I'm sure you can see it on HandyQuilter.com. Um, this is the pig that I use. I did on the long arm. Um, super fun, very easy with uh, Megan Best tutorial. Again, the link is in the description below, so make sure you check that out. Um, she shows you how to do it on Designer. She shows you how to do it on Art and Stitch. So if you don't have Designer yet. Um, He's, he still needs to be quilted, and he's wrinkly because he was in the corner. But um, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Let's end this. Let's end 2020 on a high with thumbs up for Adam, okay? <laughs> and um, you know what? At the end of the day, it's just quilting. We want to laugh. We want to have fun. Happy New Year, everyone, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.